every coffin is a surprise. Today is the last excavation of our last coffin, and a very special coffin, a coffin that has a name to it. So this coffin is Benjamin Britton. He was found with a metal plate attached to his coffin that has his name and his, his date of death, um, and that's incredibly unusual. We have almost 500 people that have been recovered from the cemetery, and he is the only one that has an associated name. There are some conflicting accounts as to who Benjamin Britton is and why he ended up in this cemetery. Some basic information that's just available online says that he was a baker and a bolter. A uh, bolter is somebody who mills flour and that he died in the 1780s and that he has family that survived him. But that's, that's basically all we know for sure. We've assembled our full Art Street Project team. Well, it almost seems like we saved the best for last. One of the most interesting things we found was he had 13 sets of ribs. Now, traditionally we are supposed to have 12 sets of ribs. He had 13. Was this possibly you know, a genetic condition that is passed down like through generations? So maybe we'll excavate, you know, when we do the analysis, some of the other remains, maybe we'll find others. They tell you how the person lived. In many cases, they can tell you how they died, what their quality of life was like, nutrition. And that's just visually. I'm interested in material culture. So uh, I want to know how culture changes through time. And one of the ways we can do that is by looking at the material culture that we have uh, from the site. We see social strata. We see the ability to have a fancy hardwood coffin with handles and a coffin plate. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you might have a coffin that is not hardwood, no handles, and maybe just painted to look like a, a higher quality wood. We are now taking some information saying this, this can really help our understanding of early America and of, of modern disease movement and things like that. And then we're going to put them back in the ground where they, they belong and can rest at peace, which I think is pretty neat. Rutgers has really led the charge on that. Professor Moran has, has been very adamant from the beginning saying she wants to make this an open and engaging project. And I, I think that's, we, we all believe that's the right attitude.